All right, with this West 2 weather update, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Benalpi. Hope you guys are having a, um, a wonderful uh, Wednesday. We're at the hump. You guys are over the hump. Still got to finish my, my shift tonight. But uh, I've got some breaking news uh, from the tropics. It looks as though our system out here in the uh, tropical, uh, subtropical Atlantic is getting a bit better organized. Here's the um, 8 o'clock inter. Uh, 8 o'clock advisory, the tropical weather update, I should say, from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, and you can see our feature here uh, has a greater risk to become a, uh, a subtropical cyclone or storm system uh, over the, the next 48 to uh, uh, 72 hours, beginning Friday on into the weekend. Diane Cormier, Jeff Neighbors, Seth Ashland, nothing to worry about, though. This, folks... Uh, is definitely not coming our way, but it is a nice reminder that uh, hurricane season is right around the corner, and we need to get you guys thinking about um, updating your uh, family hurricane kits. Jennifer Luckenbach uh, Rochon, hope I said that last name correct, Jennifer. Uh, forgive me if I, I did not. Uh, let's see, Michelle Attardi, Michelle Van Zant, Sue Raymond, uh, Arthur Corbett, Michelle Attardi. Uh, good evening down there in Mico. Uh, Lizzie Quadrano, always good to have you there, young lady. Appreciate you popping in. Uh, Sandra, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Debbie Couch has popped in. Debbie, always a, a pleasure uh, to have you in here uh, with us on our uh, evening feeds. Again, the, the big developing story uh, out in the tropical Atlantic is this feature right here. Uh, now uh, getting trying to get a little better organized as it's dropping south over some of these uh, warmer waters, and that's one of the things that we're going to be watching here over the next couple days could get some development uh, in and around Bermuda uh, but nothing coming our way so I don't want you guys to sweat it out this is more of a reminder uh, for everybody that um, uh, that you know you need to get your hurricane action kits ready to go now you take a look at the last uh, six years and we've had a, a named storm whether it's subtropical or tropical before the start of hurricane season now when you take a look at where this is at uh, in, in, in the waters uh, again, they're, they're marginally warm for development. That's why we're calling this a potential subtropical storm. What does that mean? That means there's cold air on top of the storm, but there's warm air down at the surface uh, closer to the ocean. So that's, uh, that is uh, the technical term of what a subtropical storm is. Uh, Robert Stokes from Mount Dora, uh, Yvonne, Kenneth, uh, Danielle McGinnis, good to have each and every one of you. And you guys know my motto, Sharing is caring. The more people we can reach by you guys sharing these Facebook Lives, uh, the more people we can put in the weather. Now, 13 days, now really technically less than 13 days because we're almost done with today, uh, to the start of hurricane season. Uh, of course, Colorado State came out with their forecast back in uh, early April. Uh, the sooner we prepare, the better. That's well said, Juan. Wasn't St. Cloud earlier today? Felt like it, it was. It was very breezy. Tiffany Turner, D. Ron John has popped in. Louis Allman. All right, so Colorado State. Their forecast came out in, in uh, early April. Now tomorrow, uh, we get no. The National Oceanographic Atmospheric Administration comes out with their forecast. Should be in line with Colorado State. Uh, not expecting anything uh, too significant, uh, uh, too significant, significantly different. They give more of a range. So instead of 17, they may say uh, 15 to 19, uh, 16 to 20, or something like that. Erica Wynn, Tara Lynn Toodle, Arlene Colon, Natalie Ann. Natalie Ann, it looks like we could have a subtropical system trying to develop. Again, not to worry. It is totally not coming our way. Again, this is just a, a reminder to you guys to get those hurricane action plans ready to go. Now, uh, we don't have La Nina uh, and, and, you know, El Nino, uh, we don't have that either. So we're kind of neutral. Remember, in La Nina years, the winds are more hostile. So that, um, uh, excuse me, in El Nino, they're more hostile. So, um, you know, that's... Uh, that means less activity. In a La Nina, you know, it's, it's the opposite. We tend to get more storms. So uh, bottom line is we're kind of in, the, in between. However, we just don't look at El and La Nina. We look at the water temperatures. Uh, the subtropical Atlantic, water temperatures are, are warmer than normal. And the March sea surface uh, temperatures, we look at that in March to kind of gauge the tropical activity. It was consistent with an above a tropical uh, active year. Uh, Jim Turgeon, good to have you. Natalie Ann, whew, okay. Whew. Uh, San Francisco, Trish Carr, good to have you there. Uh, where is June formation? Well, when you take a look at June formation, there it is. 
Likely in the Gulf, more likely in the Northeastern Gulf. Better safe than sorry, says Eric Nguyen. Absolutely there, young lady. Heather Miller, hey, tell me thanks for these Facebook. We love staying in the know. Oh, Heather Miller, we love it that you love hanging out with us. Uh, uh, maybe next weekend. Not seeing it next week because we're talking about the heat. That's the other big thing I want to talk about here with you in a second. Uh, again, this, the, the Bermuda slash Azores high, the Azores are over here, Bermuda's here. Uh, oscillates during the course of the year. Last year was relatively to the east. That allowed the majority of the storms to curve out over the open waters or away from the United States. But if that system is higher or stronger, um, it, it tends to push storms farther to the west. And that's one of the things that we have to watch. Now, if we get a subtropical storm Friday or this weekend, the first name is Anna. Uh, again, is Anna, first name storm. And, and going back the question is, if this forms, then that keeps the streak alive. From 2015 to 2020, uh, we've had a name storm before the 1st of June. So we'll, we'll keep you posted on that. All right, let's go to the other big story, and that is focusing in on our pattern change. A lot of good things for everybody tonight. Aaron Craycraft, good to have you. Thanks for being our eyes. Phil Shore, you're welcome. Uh, Denise Andrews, always a pleasure to have you. Uh, Terry Morris, you will. You'll get some rain. Uh, we're, almost, we're closing in now in that summer storm season, so just hang tight. I know you guys have been dry. Uh, so this week has been comfortable and breezy. Next week, oh, we are in fuego. Uh, temperature's going to soar into the 90s. In fact, you take a look at the uh, meteorological position of that high. This is the European computer model. When it's smack dab over us uh, in, in late May, you can get 100-degree readings. And I'm not ruling that out yet. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, St. Pete, excellent, excellent, Maryland. Good to have you over there, by the way. Terry, you're welcome. Uh, so let's talk temps here. Now, on Tuesday, our normal high jumps up to 90 degrees. Next week, we're going to be 95 plus. I'm going to show you the GFS temperatures and then the Euro temperatures. Let me do this here for you. Okay, so this is just to kind of, it's kind of jumping around here. I mean, hold on one sec. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's pull this to the west. Let's do this here. So I'm going to do 3 o'clock on Monday. Again, this is the GFS. And you can see out west, mid and upper 90s. Inland areas, low and mid 90s. Coast, perfect. Middle, upper 80s. GFS. Tuesday, look at that, 99 in Ocala. Oh, ay caramba. In fuego. Uh, Leesburg, 96. Wildwood, 98. Look at the coast. Mid 80s, deep east will be flow. Now, any change on Wednesday? Eh, wrong answer. Please insert your quarter and try again. More heat, middle upper 80s at the beaches, 95 to 99 inland areas if the GFS is right on Wednesday. Here's Thursday. Any change? Eh, 95 to 99 with coastal temperatures in the mid to the upper 80s. Let's switch gears. How about the European computer model? Here we go. Check this out. Uh, is it consistent? You bet your bottom bippy. Look at this. Here's the euro. Here's the, uh, here's the euro. 96 in Ocala. A little cooler. Mid low. Not that it's cool. Uh, the euro is going a little warmer at the beaches. I'm not quite sure that I'm buying that just yet. Kind of like what the GFS was doing there. Tina away. Good to have you there. There's Tuesday. How about that? 99 in Ocala. 96 in Orlando. Uh, yes, holy, <laughs> Janice Kennedy, oh honey, it's coming, baby Bob. Look at that, Wednesday, 99, the land, 98, back towards the coast, right around 90 to 93. Oh, ay caramba, look at that, triple digits, the land, Ocala, the villages, Wildwood, 99, 100. That is cray cray, right? Stephanie Buca Morales, you're going to be melting. Anybody putting makeup on? <laughs> Uh, Terry Lynn Toodle, no, I don't, well, that's the pattern, that's the way it's shaking out, uh, so that's one of the things that we're going to be watching. All right, um, we do have some other stories, we do have some sprinkles out there, there you go, Terry Lynn Toodle, check it, look at the showers here, coming in, nice, right, this is great, don't forget my motto, sharing is caring, follow the page, like the page so you can get some uh, warnings from me or updates from me, you'll, you'll see a little thing pop up on your phone or your your PC saying, hey, Tony's going on. Well, look at this, a couple showers here cranking west quickly now. There it is. Bitlow, Wedgefield, little nice little downpour there. 
Looking good, going back towards Cypress Springs. A couple more rounds there, just lining up. Loving these coastal breezes. Jenny, Jenny on the block. It's going to be different next week. Joe, no AC. Oh, AC overtime, yes. Nancy Polina Justice. Uh, hate heat in my, my pool. Oh, Nancy. Nanny P. Just. You got to get that fixed, girl. Ted Drake. Drake is in the house. Tony was playing tennis in Titusville and got rain. Yes. It's fast moving. It's in and out like a Nolan Ryan fastball, young man. Uh, so, yeah. But take the rain, man. It's, it's going to be drying out here. It's going to be uh, sweltering next week. So, any rain we can get to moisten up the soils here tonight and tomorrow will be awesome. Uh, Juanita Webb, hello to you. Definitely cray cray. <laughs> My eyeliner tattoo. All right, now, rip current concerns abound. We still have the big breeze out there. Swing. Sustained right now 10 to 17. Gust at the top of the 8 o'clock hour in that uh, 15 to 25 mile an hour range. Uh, tonight's lows look like. Freddie Lolo! Freddie, we've got a system out there. You missed it, but I'm going to come back to it. So hang tight, don't go anywhere. Christina Atkins, how will the weather be this weekend? We are having a. Oh, congratulations. Happy birthday to your daughter. Whatever. What's her name, by the way? Uh, I had my car service today. My oh, got the AC working. Colleen all dead. Oh, not looking forward to the high weather. Gerardo Lopez. Uh, all right, so mid 60s north and west, lower 70s south and east. As we uh, take a look now at the RPM model here. Let's back this up. We will go over the tropics again. Uh, well, it's not coming here. Mia. Ah, Mia Adkins. Happy birthday to you, young lady. Uh, Uncle Tony says hi, by the way. Pamela Jacques Lopez. Alexa, play the birthday song, Dance Mix, for Mia. Happy birthday, Dance Mix. Oh, make it louder. Hold on. Here we go. There we go. For Mia. Happy birthday to Mia. Happy birthday to you. Uh, Danielle McGinnis. I don't have ACE either. Tara Lynn. There you go. There's you. Mamma mia. Papa mia. Kilo, we uh, got a three year old birthday coming up this weekend. Wish Miss Mia happy birthday. There you go, Mia Mia. Uh, Mia's mom, don't forget to follow the page, like the page, share the page, spread the love. Oh, let's see. Very uh, easy getting in steps tonight. Ah, Karen, you will not be saying that next week. Cyclone and a hurricane, same thing. There we go. Cyclones are, are tropical features that are called that back towards Australia and the Indian Ocean, just FYI. Happy birthday, Disney Brothers, OMG. <laughs> Christina's a happy mama bear. I love that. All right, so some streamers, a few showers from time to time. Now, the, the big concern for our Thursday beachgoers, it's going to be comfortable, low 80s, mid 80s in uh, inland areas, but check it, check this out. The, the rip current risk, elevated high. I'm not saying don't go, I'm just saying be careful, swim near those lifeguards, uh, just FYI. Now, let's take a look at some of the specifics here for the beach and boat forecast. Winds breezy, east 15 to 20 and gusty. Uh, near shore breakers, four to six feet. Uh, small craft advisory, offshore seas, six to eight feet, and rip currents are going to be uh, the big dealio. Now, the attractions forecast, here we go. Magic Kingdom, Vicky Hill, there you go. 71, 79, and 82, looking pretty good. All right, um, some, some folks getting in late here, getting the big story. Christine Ankins, you are welcome. Uh, there we go. Comfortable this week. To next week, we're going to be sizzling underneath this big dome of high pressure. There you go, bada bing, bada boom. When high pressure is overhead, air sinks, compresses, and heats up underneath high pressure there. And if you missed it, uh, let me show you some of the, the running three day, uh, three or four day temperatures here. Uh, there's a look now at Monday, 93 Orlando, 96 in Orlando. How about Tuesday? How about 96 in Orlando and 99 in Ocala? Uh, no storm coming here, Vicky. It may form by Friday or the weekend near Bermuda before lifting back to the north and east. And I'm going to go back over that here in just a smidge. Let me just walk you through next week. Uh, as you can see, Ocala 99 again on Wednesday. Middle upper 90s, Orlando, back towards the land. Again, the, the, the coast, uh, you know, shack up with your friends along the coast. Maybe stop by Franny's house or my friends in Mikko. 
uh, along the coast. There you go. A low 90s uh, east of I-95. Inland areas, oof, triple-digit heat potentially on Thursday, 95 to 100 degrees. There you go, uh, Lindell, Lindell, correct. Uh, thoughts and prayers around for those folks. All right, so back to the tropics. Uh, again, hurricane season uh, is uh, officially starts on the 1st. We're less than uh, uh, 13 days out now. And uh, here we go. Uh, this feature we're watching there, it's spinning, uh, is expected to, uh, to try to uh, develop here over the next uh, couple of days by Friday or Saturday or even Sunday. There you go. May develop, but swing north and east out to sea. Uh, again, as of now, let me just see. Don't believe it's an invest yet, but let me double check. Ten storms. No, nope, don't have, don't have one yet. Uh, check one more site here. Nope, we do not have a, uh, nothing yet. Nothing has uh, developed in, into a potential um, invest yet. This is not considered an invest. Denise Andrews, you're welcome. Hello from Ocala. Uh, Cheryl Naster, always a pleasure to have you. His, uh, Taylor County, ah, yes. Sue Raymond, good to have you, by the way. So there you go. Let's take a look at the water temperatures here in and around Bermuda. Uh, and for those of you that uh, are geographically challenged, we, we love you, uh, but we're going to help you out. Uh, there is the tiny island of Bermuda, that little black dot right there. And, and remember now, when we're covering tropical features, we like to see the water temperatures. It may, you know, do something like that and then go, go like that. Uh, water temperatures are, are marginal at best for this to become a tropical system. That's why it could become a subtropical system, subtropical, cold core on top, warm core uh, down at, at, at the bottom there. So uh, 13 days to June the 1st, technically about uh, just over 12 hours, uh, 12 days out. Uh, Colorado State, 17, 8, and 4. That's what their forecast was back on uh, April the uh, 8th. And uh, uh, tomorrow, NOAA, the National Oceanographic Atmospheric Administration comes out with its hurricane forecast, and it should be in line uh, with uh, what uh, the folks at Colorado State are uh, are going with as well. They usually are. Uh, and if we get a named storm, whether it's subtropical or tropical, doesn't make a difference as a name. Uh, it would make the seventh consecutive year in a row uh, that we've had some a named storm before June the first. So that'll be something that we're watching. Alberto, Anna. Uh, uh, Arthur, Bonnie, Bertha, Arlene, and Andrea, the last uh, six years in a row, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, six years. So there you go. Now, typically in June, uh, we see formation in the Gulf on the tail end of the front there off the Carolina coastline. Uh, so uh, that's uh, a little bit east of there. So we'll continue to watch it. Could be an active year, Peter. We're definitely going to watch that. There we, the rain was okay. Excellent. Uh, uh, Ted Drake, drinking a Stella. You go. Uh, first name Storm. Mm. Uh, good night, Gerardo. Good night, Terry, for leaving us. Uh, Anna is the first name Storm. Then Bill, Claudette, Danny, Elsa, Fred, Grace, not Stephen, but Sam. Uh, not Terry, but Teresa. Close enough. Uh, Peter becomes. Um, Peter, Peter, you're on the list, Peter. I don't know if you knew that, Mr. Top Fan. That's a uh, Facebook thing, by the way. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look now at the seven-day forecast here, kind of uh, break this down for everybody. A right, good crowd, a long-lasting crowd. People are not departing quickly tonight. I don't like to see that. I don't want you guys to get robbed of any, any weather knowledge because you know how I roll. 85, 85, 86, then 90. We crank up that heat just a little more, and then next week, Sweet ginger brown, oh, yeah. 94, 95, 96, maybe even 98 by the time we get to Thursday in Orlando. I'm so glad my name is not on there this year, says Celine Rich. A beautiful day, Tony. I'm doing good, Steve. Thanks for asking. I appreciate the, uh, uh, the kind words. Now, if you're wanting to know if there's any cool weather in the continental United States, well, here you go. The answer is definitively yes. Up there in the Pacific Northwest, the high country of Colorado, 
where that upper low has been spinning and churning, producing some high mountain snows and then severe weather out ahead of that uh, storm system. Check this out. Look at this. Snowpack, Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, Idaho, Montana, uh, portions of Oregon, and also portions of Washington State. Look at this big bomb of a storm. It's been right about in here the last couple of days. And it's been just kind of drenching Louisiana and Texas. And look at that moisture going all the way north on into O Canada. While over here, we have this big high. And that's why we had this deep easterly flow. You know, now, the next week, this is going to build overhead, and all the storming is going to go up and over this big ridge of high pressure through the Great Lakes and the Northeast. So, uh, let's zoom it in. I know I've kind of been, been doing my John Madden here, uh, but you can see significant rain there in Texas, Louisiana, uh, numerous pockets of storms here through. Oklahoma, down in the high country, down the little little mountain snow. Uh, west of Denver, go through the Eisenhower Tunnel there into Colorado, and then in the pack northwest, Montana. Look at uh, uh, Wyoming, Idaho, Oregon, Washington State. Look at that, unbelievable. Even uh, Banff, just south and west of Calgary, heavy. Heavy snow coming down up here. Look at that. And this uh, west of Okotox and southwest of Calgary. Calgary, it's all rain, but the high country, they're getting crushed. They're just flat out getting smashed. All right. Temps around the globe. We're taking the Manolfi Lear jet out. Just so you know, darling, eyes. Good to have you there. Look at uh, Point Barrow, 60, uh, 31, Fairbanks, uh, 62. You can see off to the west of the Purge of cooler air beginning to work in. Fort Ross, Baker Lake, Equiu, Thompson, teens, 20s, and 30s. You go to Moosonee, it is 68. You go to Vegas, it is 94. But look at that big trough. Portland, 58 degrees. Hello. Uh, St. John's West, 39. So Raleigh, look at Washington, D.C. Spring fling, baby. Uh, yeah, you're getting there, Kiloe. It, it will not, not so much humid. It's just going to be flat out hot. It, it may get, it'll get more humid by the time we get to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, though. That much I do. If the models are right, yes. San Jose, way up at 73. Bogota, 55. Lima, Peru, 68. Look at La Paz, 48. Punta Arenas, look at the cold air down across South America. Uh, till November the 30th, Milda. End of November. Cape Town, 59. Bangui, 77. Look at Muscat, Yemen, 99. Uh, Michelet, Corbet, Clark, it, it is. It definitely is, at least this year, not always. Uh, very good observation, though. Michelet, Corbet, Clark. That is a major trough. Uh, bingo. Cha-ching, cha-ching. We have a winner. Kilo Kai. Moon. Paris, 48. Oslo, 46. Kiev, 54. Uh, a little warmer air from Moscow, but look at Sergut, 39. Bishkek, 61. Thank you, Dizbros. Uh, Kabul, Kabul. Uh, <clears throat> in Afghanistan, 57. Urkumi, 72. Bratsk, 39. Akutsk, coming in at 46. Uh, well, not cooler. Well, yeah, I mean, technically, yes, it's cooler, but, but still, you know, about normal for us. Uh, there we go. Seoul, Korea, 63. Sapporo, 61. Woo woo! Uh, Hong Kong, 86. Manila, 88. Uh, praying for those in Japan. There you go. Ho Chi Minh City, 82. Macassar, 81. Port Moresby, 84. Down under. Whoa! Perth, 54. Melbourne coming in at 54. And Hobart Airport, 54 degrees. All right, let me go ahead and wrap this puppy up with that seven day forecast. Again, we were watching the tropics, but nothing that's coming our way. Uh, Sean Smith, Lexi Gariel, uh, Diane Cormier, Julie McKissick, Curtin. Good to have you there. All right, the big story is the heat. Next week, folks, we are going to sizzle. Uh, jumping up to about 94 on Monday, 95, 96 Tuesday, 96, 97 Wednesday, 97, 98. By the time we get Thursday, again, that little piece of energy that could be subtropical 
Anna is not coming our way. It'll get close to Bermuda and then pull north and east of Bermuda. So again, um, more of a reminder, again, more of a reminder that you guys need to start uh, getting your hur uh, hurricane uh, action plans together, your hurricane kits together. There it is, Hurricane Center, as of the 8 o'clock tropical update, out uh, tropical weather update, uh, giving this feature now a 60% chance of becoming a subtropical system either Friday or on into the weekend, but not coming our way. Again, not coming our way. All right, gang, I'll have further information on this storm. If it does become a uh, an invest between now and 10, we'll plot the uh, spaghetti plots there for you like we always do and uh, give you the latest information that we have. Until then, I will be back on the CW18 tonight at 10, Watch 2 News at 11, uh, following uh, Wednesday night's Chicago PD. Always a great show. If you haven't watched it, check it out. I definitely think you will, will like it. And then uh, tomorrow uh, on Facebook Live again right around 8. All right, guys, take care. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Get your vaccines if you haven't done so. And uh, uh, don't forget to follow, like, or share. Uh, these Facebook lives, and we want to get the word out, make, uh, make sure everybody's uh, safe and ready for whatever is going on in our area. See you guys.